Hello YouTube watchers and subscribers from SlideNerd. This is Waves over here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use a checkbox in Android. Before we discuss about how to use a checkbox, let's discuss when we should use a checkbox. Now you may have several options that the user can select simultaneously. Only in those cases you go on using a checkbox. For example, you can maybe ask the user to select what toppings he wants on his pizza or whether he wants a coffee with milk, sugar, chocolate and so on. So in these cases, if you notice, one option or several options can be enabled at the same time and that is when a checkbox should be used. So what happens when you click on a checkbox? This is again about event handling. Just to give you a small idea of what event handling is, remember, somebody rings your doorbell, you hear the noise, everybody in your house hears the noise but only one person goes up and opens the door. The same way events work in Android. The checkbox is selected or unselected. That triggers an event which your Android operating system receives. It forwards this event to all the people who are interested and only one guy known as the on-click listener listens to this event and this on-click listener is nothing but a Java interface that allows you to decide what should happen when the checkbox is selected or unselected. So now we'll see exactly how we can use this on click listener. You guys remember this is the on click method that we can define our code where we can decide what to do when the checkbox is selected or unselected. So let us see the steps involved in using a checkbox and then jump to Android Studio and get a simple example running. First step create a checkbox, it can be Java or XML. Now at this point, if you check or uncheck the option, nothing happens by default. So you need to implement the view.onClickListener. This is the guy who is interested in responding to what happens when the checkbox is checked or unchecked. Now this has a method called onClick where you define the code of what should happen when the checkbox is selected or unselected. Now remember, inside this method, you can use this method called isChecked that determines if the checkbox was checked or unchecked. Now we are gonna see in Java code exactly how this looks. So if things look a bit confusing to you, don't worry too much about it. Basically, you can check if the checkbox is checked, you can do something. If the checkbox is unchecked, then you need to do something else and that can be accomplished with the help of this if else condition. So let's actually jump to Android Studio and see how to make this work. So here I'm in Android Studio. I have a project called Checkbox Test Project, which has a main activity inside which I have written nothing. There is the activity underscore main.xml, which is my appearance file. And here I'm going to go ahead first, make a text view which says, I want coffee with something, blah, blah, blah. So let's go to the design part and simply add our text view over here. There you go, plain text view. Let's add it right here. And I'm going to edit the text from new text to something like I want coffee. All right, so now I'm gonna create a checkbox which gives you the option to add sugar or not. So let's go and put the checkbox over here. It's very simple. You just have to find the checkbox right here on the left side and drag it right below this text view, right? And here I need to change the text because it says new checkbox. So double click on it and I'm gonna say. So at this point, I'm almost done. If I go to the uh, text part over here where I can see the code, you guys can see there's a layout width wrap wrap blah 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 text sugar id is given automatically and layout below and android checked is false now this android checked attribute can be set to true if you want by with sugar by default to be selected but we are going to keep it false over here for now let's go to the java code and see how to use this so here inside my main activity what i want to do is when the user checks the with sugar option i want to display a message on the toast saying that hey your coffee has sugar. I hope you're not diabetic or something. So that is the kind of message I want to put. So I'm going to go here, make a reference by saying check. As you guys can see, the option is presented right here. I'm going to say checkbox C. Sorry for the bad naming, but for now, I'm going to keep things simple. I'm going to uh, link this checkbox object with the XML checkbox, uh, what you call variable, which was created right here. This checkbox, I'm going to link it over here inside the Java code by saying C find view by ID. I need to specify the ID of the checkbox, r.id.checkbox and select right. 
at this point there is an error saying blah 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 incompatible types you guys can see that very simple press alt enter inside your android studio and say cast to type and it automatically type cast this to a checkbox object so at this point we're almost done now at this point when you click the checkbox nothing happens so the first thing we need to do is add an on click listener by saying c dot i'm gonna say this over here here in my activity i need to implement the on click listener for that i'll say implements on click listener as you guys can see again there is an error saying blah 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 must implement methods very simple press alt enter implement methods on click okay and there you go our on click is over here now this is the method which gets called whether your checkbox is checked or unchecked so here this view which you see over here is nothing but the checkbox object which was checked or unchecked with which the user was interacting so here I need to determine if the checkbox was selected or unselected for that the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a checkbox temporary object over here by saying checkbox T I'm gonna take this view and store it inside now as you guys remember this is not gonna work right so when you type cast stuff so for that I'm gonna press alt enter over here cast and there you go so this view which was returned by which actually indicates the checkbox that the user was uh, clicking I'm gonna convert it to the checkbox object and now I'm gonna simply check if it is checked or unchecked so for that I'm gonna use the method by saying e dot is checked else now inside this if write code for what you want to do when the checkbox is checked for my case I'm gonna simply say a message by saying toast dot make text this all right so when the user selects the with sugar option this is what should display you want coffee with sugar all right and then if the user unchecks it I want this option to be showed to the user by saying hey I know you're diet conscious I like it so let's actually run this by control s first save the stuff and then go here and run at the top all right so at this point my emulator is running and when I say with sugar as you guys can see see it says you go on coffee with sugar if I uncheck it again the on click method gets called but this time the else part runs and we see this message which says I know you're diet conscious so it's a very simple program I hope you guys have understood something out of this video if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel let me know your thoughts I would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next bit have a nice day